What's up, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome to another odd weather day here in Florida, where beginning of the week, we were in the 20s. Come on, that's cold for Florida. Yesterday, it was 83. This morning, it's chilly, rainy, nasty. <laughs> Just can't win. That's all right. We're not here for that. We're here to get some work done in the garage, and we're not going to sweat our butt off. So, here we go. Here's the chassis for the 1960 Volksrod Baja Franken Beetle build. You can find out all about that and other things at vwjawbreaker.com, along with links to other social channel supporters, etc. So, in the last video, we got the fuel line replaced and the tunnel, the metal line. This video, we're going to go ahead and get the front frame head all buttoned up. We got a couple plates already made, some structure already welded in. We got a couple more plates to cut out, a bunch of stuff to weld today. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few things moved around. And let's get to work. All right, we got everything moved around. And a couple videos back, we found out that the inside was rotted a little bit. So we put this eighth inch thick one by one square tubing in there. Tied it from back here all the way up into here. Got the frame head nice and rigid. Now we're gonna go ahead and we've got some plates we're gonna use to go ahead and weld up in there. Put a plate here that ties back into here a little bit. And go ahead and set this plate on top. And because of the way that this has so many contours and curves and all that, we're not gonna be able to match that at least not with this eighth inch plate that I'm using. <clears throat> I don't have a way to bend it like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and weld it flat. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna have a small gap and we're just gonna fill that small gap with some more eighth inch plate and tie this part of the frame head to the new plate. And that'll actually help give it a little bit more strength as well. So without further ado, let's get this thing welded up.
not going to win any awards for this, but <laughs> I feel it's going to be strong enough. So there we go. Everything's tied in from here to here. It's solid. We've got our filler pieces in from, I mean, all the way across. This thing's solid. So now what we got to do is flip her on over and I'll show you what's up next. All right, so here we go. Overkill 101. What we're going to do is run probably a bead or just a series of tacks. And all this will get seam sealed on the top and bottom as well. And that's going to be both sides. And then again, because of the contour of everything, we now have a gap. So we're going to run a plate along here. And that plate's going to help tie everything together and make it stronger. Or I can make a slit and heat this up and bend this down in an angle, which might be easier. Then I can just weld this plate to that plate and then put a little filler piece in right there. I got some thinking to do. Can you guess which way I chose? Hmm. Saved you a lot of the boring. Yeah. We just heated it up and bent it down. So it's at a slight angle now. Got a nice solid bead on both sides. So we should be good. I'm gonna run some seam sealer up along here. There's no need to fully weld it on the top side. That'll be good enough. Of course, a couple small holes to deal with now. Probably just run a piece of plate over it and then just kind of lap weld it, kind of like I just did right there. Just cover up the old control hole. So probably do the same over here. Just That's got like a little protruding lip. So bend that flat. Just put a plate around it. Still deciding on the side pieces here, what we're gonna do. Still deciding. Not sure which way I want to tackle that yet. But now for the last little part for the frame head is I just got to cut a piece out, set it in there, burn it all the way around. Frame head will be done. Oh yeah. on there to stay I think that's gonna be pretty good what do you think guys I think I'm done for the day we got a lot accomplished I'm uh, happy ish with the way things turned out so we got the frame head done both sides good to go everything's blocked in not worried about grinding it down too much now over here I decided to go ahead and just lap weld some 16 gauge I had um, this tunnel is really thick it's not like sheet metal it's thick I don't have anything, so I wasn't able to cut it out. So all I got to do is dress the welds there. We got that one plugged. We got a little bit more work to do on those. And we got all the rivet holes cleaned up as well. 
So the only thing really left is a bunch of grinding that I'm not going to make you watch me do. And then we need to go ahead and clean up these back stanions, whatever you want to call them, is next. It's time to go ahead and start fitting these floor pans in there. What do you think? And before you ask, yes, I already went ahead and verified that the clutch tube is solid. We're good to go. Good call, guys. I appreciate the heads up. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with me today. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for the support. We just hit 6,000 subs here recently. Thank you. Because of you, we made it. Let's see where the rest of the year takes us. All I know is we're doing a push to get this puppy done. I want this thing done. Okay, maybe not done, but I want to make some good progress. The only way to do that, kick it in high gear for a little bit. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the support. Can't do it without you. Remember to check out vwjobbreaker.com. All kinds of goody stuff there to look at. And I am working on updating it some more. Till the next time, guys, be kind to of one another and be good.